What's up, guys? It's me boxing, and I just heard that the WBC have ordered Ryan Garcia to take on Luke Campbell for the interim WBC lightweight title, and this bout is seen as an eliminator fight and a interim fight, as um, they do get some interim gold for the winner, and the winner gets a shot at the full title versus Devin Haney. And I've heard on some articles that the fight will be in April of 2021, April 17th, actually. And I'm not sure if that's true because um, I've been hearing some dates of maybe May, February 2021. And um, it's actually because of this pandemic where they have to push this fight so far back so they know they can have a crowd for such a big event. As um, it This fight really makes or breaks Ryan Garcia. If he loses this fight, we know that he probably can't beat Lomachenko, probably can't beat Linares. And um, this fight really makes or breaks Ryan Garcia, as I said before. It could really define his career as one of the greats in the lightweight division. Or it could show that he was just a hype train, and when he stepped up in competition, he really lost. And um, Ryan Garcia is coming off of two spectacular wins by knockout in the first round versus um, Francisco Fonseca and Romero Duno, who are both not bad fighters. One of them, Francisco Fonseca, fought for a world title, and he's the former IBO world champion, and he's definitely not a fighter to mess with. And Romero Duno was um, a great contender in his own likes. And Ryan Garcia's record is 20-0, 17 by knockout. He's currently the NABO and the WBC silver lightweight champion. And he was looking to face Jorge Linares, but Fortuna actually pulled out of Lou Campbell's fight. And that means the WBC ordered a final eliminator and an interim title fight versus Luke Campbell and Ryan Garcia. And Luke Campbell, he's um, an Olympic gold champion as he won um, gold for his country of England in London 2012. And his record is 20-3 and three with 16 by KO. And in his last fight, he lost by decision to Vasil Lomachenko in the O2 Arena last year, August of 2019. And in that fight versus Lomachenko, we, earlier in the fight it was competitive and the rounds were close, but later in the fight Lomachenko really showed his stamina and he outboxed Campbell and was able to drop him, I believe, in round 11. And um, he also has two losses to Ivan Mendy by decision and Jorge Linares by split decision. And Luke Campbell is also the former WBC Silver World Champion in the lightweight division. And in my opinion, he's a great fighter. Even though in his biggest fights he lost, he still put up a lot of heart and made it really, really close as he got a split decision loss to Linares. And he did actually avenge that loss to Ivan Mendy, which was his first defeat. And he avenged it on the Pavekin versus Joshua undercard. And that was where he picked up the WBC silver title. And this fight, in my opinion, is so close. Like, Luke Campbell, I'd say he's a step ahead of Ryan Garcia, being that he has all the amateur experience, he's fought better fighters, and he's just a better boxer. But I want to see how Ryan Garcia can deal with a real, real good fighter like Luke Campbell. As I don't, I don't think he's going to be able to knock Campbell out like he's been doing to Duno and Fonseca. As Luke Campbell actually has a great chin, he's got a lot of heart, and he's a very good boxer. And um, the winner of this fight, I believe, would have a very close fight with Devin Haney. Either it would be Campbell or Garcia. And I really just want to see Garcia win this fight to see the both prospects go against each other. And to see who's the best prospect in the lightweight division. Well, I, I could say they're not really prospects anymore. They're both top contenders. And one of them is the champ. Devin Haney's now the champion. With only about 22 fights, I believe so. And Ryan Garcia is now being seen as a top contender. And DeZone, I believe, had him as one of their best prospects they've ever seen. I believe he's one of the best prospects to ever come out of the United States. From what I've seen of him. And um, this fight, it's really too close to tell. So drop your comments down below on who you think is going to win this fight. As of now, I... I'm sort of siding with Luke Campbell. I actually think Luke Campbell's going to outbox Ryan Garcia and get a decision win. Or, who knows, if Lomachenko could drop um, Campbell, Garcia maybe could.
could knock him out. Because, in my opinion, I don't think Ryan Garcia is that great of a boxer. I think he's more of a power puncher and brawler. As we've seen, he lands huge hooks. Which knock, a left hook that knocked out Duno. And um, a right hook, I guess you could say. A right cross that knocked out Francisco Fonseca in February. And let's say this fight's going to be in 2021, 100%. So that'll mean that Campbell hasn't fought in two years since then, and Garcia hasn't fought in one. So just to let you know there, maybe um, Campbell has some ring rust in the, um, in that fight, or maybe Ryan Garcia because he's usually fighting every four or five months or so. If it weren't for this pandemic, maybe we could have been seeing this fight in late August or early autumn. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm going to be boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.